Hi friends, this is this is Cyrus, and today I'm going to prepare for you beef stroganoff. As you can see, right here, I'm cooking the meat, I'm getting the noodles ready for when the stroganoff hits. Um, I didn't make my own sauce though, I cheated a little bit, um, you know, you can get this at any part of the store, it's this beef stroganoff um, seasoning mix. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of basil, some pepper, yeah, I'm just separating the meat right now from the size and everything, yeah. Sometimes you have to add a little bit of extra olive oil, you know, so it doesn't stick to the pan, you know, with the meat and everything, so. Yeah, also if you can, um, if you want to get your salt to taste, you just add a little bit of salt to this, and mix it in there. Yeah, and make sure also that your ground beef, or whatever you're going to be using for your stroganoff, it doesn't have to be a beef stroganoff necessarily, but this is. Um, make sure that it's thoroughly cooked, you know, there's nothing pink about it, you know. It gets that nice browning. Um. Oh, and also, um, when you add that, uh, when you add the beef stroganoff packet or whatever to this, you're also going to need, in the fridge, you're going to need a gallon, well, you need a little bit of milk. Since I've done this long enough, you know, long enough, I, uh, I know about how much to add, you know, based on looking at it, so. Everybody does it a little bit differently, but. You add this. As you can see, it's like this. Okay. You stop the cooking process for a little bit so that you can make your... Also, um, you, s you set the heat a little bit lower, you know, because you don't want to burn this. You want to slow cook this. Yeah, you add your packet, season in. Throw it away. But yeah, you uh, stir this up. Don't leave any part of it behind. Because you want this sauce to get nice and thick, you know, for your stroganoff base. And eventually, you know, when you drain those noodles, you're gonna put the, you're gonna put your, your beef and then the stroganoff mix into that and stir it up. And that's what, you know, in the end of this, you'll get your end result. And if you do it right, you know, it'll be thick and creamy and very delicious. <laughs> or if you prefer to have it a little bit runny, you know, that's your choice, you know. I'm sure it'll still taste around the same. But yeah, I'm also... I'm going to add some basil leaves. Just, just a sprinkle. Some black pepper. You don't want to add salt because this packaging it has a lot of sodium content. And I'm actually trying to reduce it a little bit. You can add water to reduce that. Um, but I'm just going to mix this in with all the stuff. So. But yeah, um, in a little bit, um, I'll show you the final result.
Alright guys. But yes, when you're done, your beef stroganoff is gonna look something like this. But yeah, if you um if you have any cooking tips or anything that you would love for me to cook, just let me know. Alright, this is Cyrus and uh God bless you all and have a good day.